Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday, where you never quite know what you might get. And today I started working on this and I thought, you know, I should probably go ahead and turn on my camera. So I have, and we're just playing today. Well, not, actually, we're playing using up scraps. Let me see if I have a little bit wider one. There we go. I think that'll do. Um, and I am making a master board of sorts. This is my book that I put all the scraps when I have when I finish a project, I put the scraps in here and then I can cut them up and use them for master boards for future pieces. This one I didn't have enough to finish it with with those colors, so I left it. I'm going to continue to leave it. This one I started with some stuff. But the piece that I just did has similar colors, so I figured we're going to go ahead and use it and finish it up. I have just finished a journal. The walkthrough will be on Wednesday, because, and I'm not going to show it to you yet because the cover isn't done. I'm waiting on a butterfly applique that I have ordered so that I can... Do a little bit, hang on, I'm going to do this off camera, I think. Just cutting off my tops here. There. Because I want to be able to use that perhaps some other place. The little tiny piece, that one can be recycled. Don't need to keep everything. Where would I keep it, as George Carlin says? If you can't keep everything, where would you put it? Trying to find a good spot for this one. So this journal that I have just finished has a cloth cover and I really like how it came out. Um, in fact, it gave me an idea for a video to do, uh, which I will probably come out on Monday, which will be before the reveal of the journal, but that's okay. I think it'll be fun anyway. So these are just scraps that I have leftovers from the this particular journal. That one's kind of a cool shape. Do I want to use it as that shape? Why not? Let's go ahead and put it in exactly as it is. I still have, I haven't completely cleaned my desk from that particular project. I have a tendency, when I work, all the materials that I need are out on my desk. And then when I finish the project, I clean up, everything gets put away, and the desk is completely cleared for the next project. So that I have everything ready to go for the next project. But at the moment, I'm in the process of cleaning up, which is why I'm getting rid of these scraps, because I have so many of them. I keep wanting to put something in. Well, you know, washi tape goes a long way to filling in these little places. So let's go ahead and just stick that down there. I like to work with rectangles because they tend to fit better. So anything here that's not a rectangle will probably be turned into a rectangle. There we go. Uh, like this one. This is really cool, but I don't like the edge on it. Trying to match that up with anything is difficult. So we're going to turn it into a rectangle. Throw away the extra pieces. I have another one just like it because I cut something out of a page. I cut a, spoiler alert, I cut a butterfly out of a page. So now I have two of these that we can put down here. Let me quick double check. Nope, they don't go with those. So uh, we're going to hold off on these. At this point, mostly I have pinks here. And I could, yeah, let's go ahead and put the teal in as well. Finish off this page with lots of pretty colors. So grab your scraps if you haven't already done so. Go ahead and grab your scraps and make a master board along with me. We 
Yeah, let's just put these things together. What I do find, it, now this is a, I was using Dick Blick for a long time, but I don't have a new catalog by them yet. Um, so I'm not ready to get rid of my old one. This is a Uline catalog. There, I don't know. It says shipping supply specialist. But when I, I look at it, you know, you've got boxes and all sorts of really kind of cool things in there, moving blankets. But uh, nothing that I'm really all that interested in using. Now, I kept a couple of these because I thought I might use them. Yeah, that didn't toss. Like I said, you can't keep... Whoops, that didn't get down there very well. I don't like those two colors. They're too close together. Okay, we'll hold off on that piece. That's got a nice little bit of, there we go, right down there. It's like a giant game of Tetris, making everything fit. There we go. And I have some long pieces that I can cut up, uh, but let's get rid of the little ones first. There we go. We'll put that right over the top of that one, and then that'll help keep that other one down that's just trying to pop up on me. So I have enjoyed my... I almost feel like I've had time off because I have... Um, after all the work that I did with Jelly Postcard Play, and believe me, I enjoyed every bit of it, but boy, it was a lot of work. I don't know, and, and Kerry himself, is who designed the challenge, has said he's not sure he w wants to run it next year the same way it ran this year. He's thinking that it needs a little bit of an adjustment because he found it to be very, very difficult as well. And he was doing much longer videos because he was doing instructional videos as, they, as he went along. Okay. This is a nice big piece of white that I don't think will go in there. That's a little piece of... That might go in at some point. Uh, to do, to do. Is that going to be wide enough? Almost. Okay. Hang on. Let me see if I got something better before I put that in there. I try not to overlap too much. So let me cut that off a little bit down there. Where's my guillotine? I just bought this one. It is um, it's a nice little piece. It's sharp, which is the good thing. Okay, and now, of course, I cut it too short. Oh, well, putting it, putting it in anyway, and... We'll just cover it up with something else later on. I used to be really, really careful about how I managed to, you know, don't overlap and all of that. And then I realized it doesn't really matter. Overlap. Have a good time. What's the big deal? Now, does that going to fit in there? No. No, but it will fit down here. So let's go ahead and put that right down there. Covers up that little bit down there. Um, so I still have this piece. It's not wide enough for that. I have this piece, which is still not quite wide enough. Don't, are, are they all the same? I think they're all the same. They're all about an inch. Yep. Well, let's put you guys in. Oh, wait, wait. No, that doesn't. I thought it was a bit wider, but it is not. All right. So we'll put this in. We're going to cut it right there. And I'd rather have a little overlap this time than cut it too short. So, we'll see. How'd I do? Oh, good. A little bit of overlap, which is perfectly fine. Gone. And we'll go here. It is a beautiful day here in the Finger Lakes. I, this is my perfect summer weather. 
temperatures are in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Um, not a lot of humidity right now, which is really nice because we've had some really humid days. Oh, I kind of like how those two go together. Yeah, we've had some very humid days. Um, Debbie came through and made things very, very wet. And then we're drying out bit by bit. My basement is doing well. It is drying out, which is really all the, the most you can ask for. I got this little, I need a little piece to go right there, but let me grab something different. Okay, these this color doesn't really go with this. I mean, it, it goes in the journal. It just doesn't go here very well. So let me find something that does. There we go. A little bit of writing. No, I think we'll just take that little bit. Okay, now I want to grab my washies, and these are all the washies that I used for, the, well I didn't use all of them, but they were the ones I chose to use from. And let's add a little bit of washi tape here to just kind of fill some places in. And going with my theme of rectangles, I will cut these rather than tear them. A lot of times I'll tear them, but because this is, these have such sharp edges. Let's see, we'll cover that little bit up. Oh, I got a big piece up here. Needs something. I like the gold. Okay. You're probably sitting there going, um, hello, you missed a spot. Now, what will I do with the rest of these? Probably do another board. And then the next time I make a junk journal, I can just, if I have need pinks, I've got pinks. I'm not gonna probably do anything there unless I throw a little washi in it. Um, I need something down here. This pretty pink-ish. Generally, I do things in threes. So I might put three pieces of the same washi on, but today, I don't know, odd numbers. One is an odd number. There we go. I need to, oh, I forgot. Look at this, I keep finding these big spots that I don't have a, that don't have anything in. Um, here's that one that I was doing with the writing, there we go. Nope, nope. Long pieces. Oh, here we go. Let's put one of these in. Okay. Um, try to cut straight. I don't know about you, but I'm not very good when I cut. try to cut straight. Okay, we'll put you in there, and then let's grab a little bit of green washi. This looks like grid paper. Uh, you may ask why I put glue on my washi. Washi is designed to come up uh, and to be removable, and I want to make sure that it doesn't remove. I want it to stay put. I need something across there. Let's use a little bit of that same. Right across there. So because I don't want it to remove, I put glue on the back of it so it won't come up. There, 
that covers up that seam a little bit. Pretty much that's what I use the washi for, is to cover up seams. I've got a long seam here. I don't have a lot of pink out. I do have this kind of coral. I don't know that I like that there. I've got a little bit of this coral. That's prettier. And I'm getting low on this particular one. And don't, I have no idea where this washi came from. No idea. This is none of this is a particularly um, fancy washi. It's not. I mean, the stuff that I get from the washi tape shop, you know. In fact, this might have come from the washi tape shop. <coughs> Sorry. But the rest of it, who knows? It's just where I pick it up. I pick it up hither and yon. I don't want to cover up my butterfly. Well, oh, it kind of matches there, so I, I chose wisely. Almost like I knew what I was doing. Okay, one more piece across here, and I think we are done. Um, let me go back to the... Where's oh, this one? I want to use that one again, I think. Except, you know, do you think I can find it? Is it my glory, where on earth could I have gone, gotten to? It's not like I'm very far away. Well, then, you know what? We'll use this one. Oh, it's way over here. That's all right. See, this is why you have to put things away when you're finished using them. Because otherwise, you can't find them. Okay, I don't remember where I said I wanted this, but I'm going to put it down here. Hold still. And my page is starting to get pretty gluey, so I'm going to have to turn that soon. See, to me, the washi just kind of finishes things off. Yeah, I wanted something up here, didn't I? Well, let's use the same stuff. Oh, that's starting to do one of those old washi things. When your washi gets old, this is why you should use it up. Don't keep it. Because when it gets old... It starts to stick and it it makes it, it makes things difficult. So I'm going to pull that very slowly. I want a fairly long piece. Cut that carefully, and then I do want to cut off that ripped edge. Um, sorry for my reach. Plop that on there. That'll become something someday. Add a little bit. This is pretty sticky washi, but I'm going to add glue to the back of it anyway. And cover up that little seam. There. All right. I think this board is done. No more fussing. So... Yeah, watch for on uh, Monday. There's going to be a couple. I've got a new idea that I, I want to talk about, and we'll do that on Monday. Um, but it has to do with those when you're using this kind of cardstock that has a white back. What do you do with the white back? So we're going to talk about that on Monday. And then on Wednesday, there will be a walkthrough of my journal that I've just completed with everything's done, excuse me, but the cover. So we're going to get that done. Uh, and then we'll be back for next Fabulous Friday. So uh, enjoy. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and click like to let YouTube know that you like them. And then click the bell for notifications just so you don't miss when the next video comes out. Until later, this is Cindy signing off. <laughs>